people that had an ounce of honour that even believed even one of their laws. They, they don't, Iris. So it, at the end of the day, what you're really doing is if you work on the basis that you're putting things on the record that you can come back and knock them on the head with later, that's really the best you can hope with, with, with people who are literally running like pirates. Yeah? Right. I, I, the process I've given you goes to the heart of their land law. Okay. But, but just when you do it, just understand that the, the judges that have been found out around America now that have been stealing thousands and thousands of homes is out of control. It's just totally out of control. In California, they found that there was an entire couple of counties there where all the judges were on the take from, from, from uh, developers that were buying cheap foreclosed hands, uh, homes through the court, washing through the court, and the judges were getting a kickback. There's several dozen judges that are going to go down for prosecution. They actually put a prosecutor in jail, these judges, to keep it quiet. Mm -hmm. So it's out of control. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, we're going to take one last uh, call for the evening, and uh, it's uh, Ron. Uh, Ron, you're on the air again. Thank you. Hi. Hello. I'm sorry to be such a pain, but Frank, I understand you're going to be on another radio show on the 15th of March. Yeah, it's Rumor Mills with uh, Rayleigh and Allen. Uh, so she's going to do a, a, a radio interview on Book of the Green Race. Oh, and my God. Some of the, yeah, some of the spiritual background stuff. Yeah. So what time? Uh, it's 3 p.m. Eastern, I think, from her side. 3 p.m. to uh, Tuesday the 15th to 5 p.m., I think it is. It's three hours, yeah? So it's uh, Rumor Mill News, right? Yeah, ru rumor Mill News. It might actually be, I said three, but it might be two. I, th I think it's 3 p.m. Anyway, it's on their, their homepage, their radio, Rumor Mill's radio. Oh, okay. Already great. Thanks. Okay, good on you. Thanks, Ron. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're just about up uh, for the hour. And uh, Frank, anything else you want to just cover? Or? Well, I just see Solel's got a question there. Judges oath, judicial capacity, uh, judges in ministerial capacity, administrator for municipality, state. Um, yeah, no, a judge is uh, it holds a minister ministerial duties, but an oath of office is considered part of their valid registration. So if their oath is not on the record, then they can't sit as a judge. It's the statutes, the rules are statutes. Okay, so look, Brian, thank you so much for what you've done tonight. Thank everyone who are on the call, those that listened to the call. I know there was a lot of different areas that we covered, but um, we're moving forward. So thanks very much. Yeah, Frank, uh, absolutely amazing, Frank. Uh, uh, the information shared tonight is is incredible. And again, as uh, as we move forward, we get a clear cut uh, definition of of what's going on, and then also how to stand in competence, which again is part of uh, the action of restore law. Uh, and again, is please log on to uh, University of Eucadia. Uh, that's university.eucadia.info. And uh, join us again next week, uh, Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, for the open call of University of Eucadia. Thanks so much, Frank, and uh, we bid everybody good night, and until next time, thanks. Thanks. Thanks very much. Thank you.